Welcome back to the uh, 80 Star Basketball channel. Uh, for the Spotlight series today, we're going to be doing one of my absolute favorite, if not my favorite, Jordan Star card, the 288, the 1984-288. Uh, so this is a base set card. So for 1984, there's three Three cards actually in the base set of 288. This happens to be the very last card in the set. Um, it, it, you know, 288 and there's 288. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. And this is uh, just an absolutely, to me, gorgeous card. I don't know, you know, the colors, the blue, the red, the pose, everything about it. Um, this turned into my my instant favorite. Um, and now, you know, notwithstanding the 101, the 101 is king. However, this is, um, this is far aesthetically and picture-wise, this is one of my favorites. The CK26 is also, uh, you know, up there. And... Um, this is just a, a, a phenomenal card and it's very unique for condition. And so we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that a little bit. But just for a resource, I'm on uh, starbasketballcards.com. That's what uh, I highly recommend going to as a good resource to look at for um, star cards and uh, basketball gold. But this is what I'm looking at right now. And I will give you a, a few pieces of information here starting before we go look at... Um, uh, auctions and sales kind of thing. The only thing I do want to point out, um, this is not a rookie card. This is a rookie year card. This is one of, um, what you can consider four, but three of the base set cards. This is his, obviously his rookie of the year card. And, but, uh, this was not uh, his team team set card. So um, not trying to downplay how cool it is. I'm just definitely want to point out that distinction, um, you know, for for the card. So this card has currently uh, the lowest population of the other um, of the three. There's a 195 and Olympic one. This one came in that bag. So there was, uh, you know, they came in the team bag, team packs. This one was a bag. It had the Jordan Olympic on top, the 195. And some people call it the Olympic bag or the specials bag. And this card um, was inside as well. So there's two Jordans in the bag. That's what made this bag very desirable and very unique. And this particular card generally is always off-centered. You will always find this card off-center except for very few copies. So it demands an incredible premium centered. However, part of the problem with the centering is, I will show you a little bit later, there's a little white strip that goes on the bottom if you are off-center top to bottom, you know, in any way. That's, um, you know, it can still be a little bit off-center, but that's a good telltale sign that if you have a white strip, you're off-center top to bottom. Right to left is completely obvious. This is actually a very normal looking, if not actually a, a well-centered uh, 288. They are just, um, they were just cut this way uh, for, you know, I, I would probably say um, there's close to single digits that are centered well. And this, most people would look at and be like, oh, wow, that horrible, you know, that centering is horrible. And I actually look at this and go, oh, that's not bad at all. That's actually really good. They, the cuts on this, again, if you're that little white strip, the top to bottom, the, uh, you know, for when you see it, 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 it'll be on the bottom. The top edge is generally also always cut rough, is rough cut, and the edges are chipped a little. And that's um, very, very common too. And I have noticed a pattern with this card when I see that white strip. Generally, the top, the edge, is the chipping isn't, an, isn't as bad, and it's not as rough. So you actually get a better edge, but you have it off-centered. So if it's centered top to bottom, you then have start getting a common rough chipping up top on the edge. And um, so it's just extraordinarily hard to get a high grade in this card. Um, it really, really is. I don't know. Um, I don't think there are any PSA 9s, and I don't see, you know, that would be a, a card to, for the ages right there. But I do want to say that, um, you know, so when I look at this, this actually, for me, it's kind of easy. I don't really care if it's a quarter, another millimeter over on the right to left. It all looks pretty bad. So, you know, I am, again, this is one of those, I get a free pass on centering. I care about centering, but 
for this card, you just get used to seeing it. Its natural state is off-centered, just like the one one So uh, actually, all three base cards are off-centered in their natural state. So uh, when I say natural state, I mean, you know, most common that you see them. So, you know, kind of getting that, I really look for, for my personal taste, I just look for um, sharpness and edges and um, everything else surface, make it sure everything else is good when I pick this uh, card up. That's, that is how I buy this card. And uh, really, it's just what the centering will bother you on and, and your personal preference. So let's uh, talk about um, uh, fakes and, um, oh, really quickly, do want to go back. There are for population. So I was discussing the pop count for PSA. There is 135 copies and for BGS, there are 705. So a total of 840 graded copies. Um, roughly the 101 is about 1500. So you're, you're again, roughly you're talking about for every two 101s, there's only one of these. And that is, in the last I checked, there was um, getting close to 1,200 of the 195s. So this one is, by quite a good margin, um, a, a lower pop count card. And you will see the values reflected that in auctions. Um, so it's, a, it's definitely one to look up. And, and I noticed when I did this video, there are no auctions. So I can't go to eBay. There are some for sale and you'll, you'll see the prices. We'll look at sale prices and you can do. But right now there's currently no auctions of this card. Um, I'm thinking as the 101 continues, it's going up and everything else is going up. The auctions on these could dry up even faster. So that's something to be aware of. If you're out to purchase this card, do I think this can fly like the 101? No, that it's in a class. The 101 is a class of its own. This is, however, a card that definitely could go up in value and it has the fundamentals to do so and the math behind it. So uh, just watch out. And, and I Personally, I have had several at one time. I just, um, and I sold to get a 101, and I, I recently got this one. Actually, it's in the mail uh, today even. I picked up one that's uh, got all nine subgrades, and um, except for centering, which is horribly awful, but I still love the guard. And uh, I picked up a, a small 5.5, so I still want to try and kind of consolidating for my 101 hunt, but I gave up this card in that hunt, and then I simply said, you know what? I don't enjoy not having it, so I'm going to get it back. So moving on from all that, that's uh, just some information, my views and everything, and the, and the pop of this card. So how to spot a fake, again, starbasketballcard.com. And um, first of all, if you see it centered like this, it is a fake, <laughs> unless it is graded. Only buy graded copies of this. But a good other way to tell is the coloring. Um, the, the 288 has that light blue to it. So if you see a darker blue, um, you're looking at a fake. And also, um, you know, check the blurriness of the letters on the back. And, um, you know, the kind of the card on the back, uh, it's not loading for the fake, but that's something to uh, check out. Um, so fakes, but again, buy only graded of these cards. That is what I would recommend and only slapped. No sense in, in trying to even take the chance with this, especially as the cost rises. So I do want to go over to 130 point. Let's go ahead and check the auctions and um, see what we're looking at. The last one. So again, my same grade. I actually paid more. I paid 2100 for mine. And um, I, I got a great deal as far as I'm concerned. But it is above the comp. Um, but I was you know, that my subgrades are a little higher. And I did want to show this one because it's got that white line. So if you see that white line on the bottom, um, that's what I was talking about. You'll get it. But, and again, you'll get that top edge though, that generally is a little cleaner, just a pattern I've noticed, not with all of them, but you, you really have to watch the edges. But um, it is a cleaner cut when you get this white line. Again, it's so hard because if the if the centering is better, all of a sudden the edges might have more chipping. That's just how they cut the card, and uh, it's just really a um, you know it's in so insanely hard to get this card in in a good uh, condition. But um, you know, looking at some of the others, this uh, seven point five Probstein auction went for four thousand six hundred. The subs are average, and so I didn't. I kind of was a little surprised it went this high, but you know. Um, it, it's, it's doable. 
This 8.5 here went for uh, 20,000, um, and you're probably say like, oh my gosh, that's insane. Well, this one, the centering is one of the best I've seen. That is why this card hit that is very well centered. Again, um, just just really, really difficult to find them that look like this. So to me, 20,000, it's what you're willing to pay for it, and you're just not going to find center copies. Uh, again, we have a six at uh, 2,200, um, just going along the lines. Again, by the you know my personal uh, recommendation and advice make sure you get the highest subs as possible and um, you know that's for any card and uh, PSA 6 3200 um, and you know two for 2900 and, and a seven BGS for 3200 so check out check out the auctions you know check out what they're going for but I did want to show you um, you know give you some information on the 288 and uh, you know, show you kind of what it's selling for right now. It, again, I just absolutely love this card. Um, love uh, putting the spotlight on it for sure. And, um, you know, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, uh, subscribe, and then uh, I'll see you at the next video.